Hey everyone, K5VLP here. I just want to go over real quick on the Wires X setup with an FTM100DR and the same would go for a 400DR as well. So real quick here, I've got it on an old Vista machine so I apologize I don't have a screen capture software. So we'll go ahead and start up the Wires X application. And real quick here, this up here file, this is the biggest, important, most important thing you want to do. Transceiver. Okay, you're going to choose digital or analog. I ran this with an analog my, uh, Kenwood the V71. Worked great. You got to put the frequency and everything in in that, in that case, whether it's simplex or maybe connected to a repeater with a, a tone and all that. Digital mode with 100 and 400 or any other digital uh, compatible radio. Click digital. It should automatically say DSQ, frequency, the frequency you're going to put in. I'm just using a simplex frequency on low power. Eventually I'll connect it to our club's repeater and uh, then I'll have to change that to uh, a high power probably just to reach. Uh, make sure there's nothing selected here. Reverse. You don't want it to go up or down. So no, no numbers in here offset. And that's the most important thing to set up right there. Other settings. Go into File. You can go File, View, Audio, Adjustment, and for Digital, I think you're going to want to click on Setting. Preset Volume, you're going to go to, just click HRI 200 Mode Transceiver, just to make sure. It doesn't check a box or anything, and I don't know if it really matters, but uh, I do that anyway. Go back up here to File, Settings. The guide tells you how to set all this stuff up. You can change your user ID. Mine currently says my call sign dash TX. I used to have my name in there. Um, location settings, I think that this is off of the GPS on a laptop, which I don't have, so I manually put those numbers in. Again, there's my user ID and my DTF ID, or room number. HR200, I didn't change anything there. I didn't change anything there. I did check the box unlimited TOT or you will be timed out of the room that you're in. Digital ID, I don't have that set. I didn't change that and didn't change that. So let's go to the radio. For those of you with the 100 and probably the 400. I played with this, turned it on, just powering it on and couldn't figure it out. Friends of mine in the club were listening and talking, connecting through my radio, but nobody could hear me on that. This is why. When you power on your digital radio, you want to hold down DX and uh, GM buttons. Hold them down and power it on, then let it off. I just have already done that, so I just power it on again, and it's preset. You'll notice it goes into wires X mode instead of the standard call sign. It'll say there normally. So here's wires X mode. I've got my simplex. It's on low power because I'm just using it for myself now. And what I'm using is my FT1, another digital linked to that simplex. And when I talk to people on there, I talk through this into my radio, into the room that I'm connected to. So let's go ahead and connect to the room that I like here. It's usually got a lot of guys in there. It's called America Link. And I'll just connect. It shows 37 users in there. And there's guys talking right now. And you'll see their call sign in there too. If it's all digital, it's kind of cool. Uh, and it'll even show the location. The guy in London, it showed a 4,900 miles away. We thought that was kind of cool. Um, so it's set up and everything. So one of the biggest confusing things was that uh, I never read anywhere to hold down those two buttons and put it in HRI 200 mode. But the other confusing thing was, let me turn this off. The other confusing thing was I didn't realize, and I don't remember reading anywhere, that you could not use this radio that's connected to the box. So the radio that's connected to your HRI 200 box cannot be used to transmit. It becomes a, basically a hotspot that connects RF uh, with uh, the internet through this box right here. So this mic is useless. It becomes a hotspot and other people can connect and you can connect using another radio. Uh, into that through whatever frequency you set up. And the frequency that you put in the software in here that I showed you earlier is going to show up on the frequency on your radio. It'll change it so you don't have to set the frequency on the radio. 
All right, so that was a confusing thing. That's connected to the HRI. This is the node. You cannot use it to transmit. You have to use another radio to communicate. And before you connect, you need to hold these two buttons down, DX, GM, power on. It should go into wires X mode. And you'll be good to go. If you don't do that, every time someone keys down, when they let off their, their push to talk, your call sign will flash on there real quick, and, and some people get annoyed by that. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps. Um, and if anyone has anything else, go ahead and post uh, any comments. This is uh, I don't do these videos too often, so hopefully this helps. K5VLP, 73, everybody.